Now to the brush fire that's been burning more than 24 hours in New Jersey. Chopper 2 live over the scene in Rockaway Township. The flames have scorched more than 140 acres of land. It's only 30% contained. The fire is threatening 13 structures. Eight of them have been evacuated. This is all happening in Morris County. That's where our Alicia Reed joins us tonight. Fire officials are calling this the perfect storm. Red flag fire conditions and a historic drought. Then add the wind that's fanning the flames, making it difficult to control. The Craig Muir Lookout wildfire lights up the night sky as firefighters work diligently to get it under control. Drone technology used to keep an eye on the fire near October Hill Road. From above, chopper video shows the extent of the damage. Engines, dozers, crews, and uh, we're really trying to hit this thing hard. It started near Notch Road in Rockaway Township Thursday night. Residents on Green Pond Lane evacuated voluntarily on Friday as the fire threatened their homes. Two helicopters were deployed, dumping gallons of water on the fire while crews attacked from the ground. It's pretty scary. You know, we had to evacuate 15 horses from our property. Mike Pinter lives one town over from Rockaway Township and is doing everything he can to protect his home. It's pretty important to keep the leaves away because they burn fast. Uh, we don't want to see the house go up. Well, I took the cover off this car here, so if, uh, if a spark flies onto it, it hopefully doesn't. I don't lose it. This all comes as New Jersey faces extreme fire danger. The National Weather Service issuing a red flag warning due to the wind and dry conditions. Outdoor burning, fireworks, or anything with the potential to burn is prohibited. There is no end in sight for this drought. Crews will be fighting the flames throughout the night as they work to get it under control. Officials still do not know what caused it to ignite on Halloween night. In Morris County, Alicia Reed, CBS News, New York. We're going to check in with Lonnie right now. Lonnie, you see that fire. It's very frightening, and it's got to be tough to fight with all these dry conditions, right? Yeah, we did the dry conditions and the wind, yeah. all right? I mean, that makes it, that's the combo you don't want to see. So when you look at a map like this and you can see the flow of the wind, the more tightly packed these little lines are, all right, like you see right here off the Jersey Shore, that shows you where the stronger wind is. So it is coming in from the northwest. National Weather Service has issued an elevated risk of fire spread, again, for Connecticut tomorrow. They're saying, hey, please take caution when handling and disposing of ignition sources. Also, outdoor burning is not recommended. In fact, it's banned in some areas out there. The risk is with us really for the next five days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It doesn't go away. It's either high or moderate, but it's there. There. In terms of how things will be playing out for us, it's much cooler tomorrow because those winds I just talked about coming in from the northwest. So 48 in the morning, not 68, 39 Monticello. We'll talk your high temperature tomorrow in just a bit. Right now, Dick, it's all yours. All right, Lonnie, thanks very much.